Hello, I'm Ross Exton, and today we've come to the planetarium to show you how to track down the constellation of Perseus. Start by finding the plough and draw a line from the end star through the north star until you arrive at the distinctive three shape of the constellation Cassiopeia. Head down to find this star located between Cassiopeia and the bright star Capella. This is Mirfak and is in the middle of the constellation Perseus. From here, you can imagine the rest of his torso, head, arms and legs, as well as a second head being held in his left hand. Fans of Greek mythology will recognize this as belonging to Medusa the Gorgon, a monster so fearsome she could turn someone to stone just by looking at them. Medusa's right eye is a star called Algol, meaning demon, this is also where we get the word alcohol, which causes you to lose your head, so to speak. By watching Algol over the course of a few days, you will notice that it gets brighter and fainter. The reason for this dimming in brightness is because something is blocking the light coming from Algol as it passes between us and the star. In fact, it's another star blocking the light. Algol is a multiple star system. As the smaller, dimmer star passes in front of Algol, it seems to get fainter. As the star orbits around the other side, it appears brighter. This is called a transit, and it happens every two days and 22 hours. When the two stars orbit one another in this way, we call it a binary star system. In fact, lots of stars aren't what they seem. Over half the stars visible in the night sky are multiple star systems, containing two, three, four, even five stars all orbiting one another. So best of luck with your stargazing. If you'd like any more information on the constellations and other amazing objects you can find in the night sky, then why not join us in our planetarium or download the latest free night sky guide.